Okay, so this this video is very uh, this team is very anime. You you watch anime, right? I've heard of it. Okay, I watch. I mean, I've heard. I also have heard of it. Um, we are joined by the legend Alpharad. What's going on, dude? Uh, feels good. I am now a Pokemon master. Yes, congratulations. I've given you your uh, official Pokemon master stamp in your stamp master book. Yes. Um, but yeah, so we obviously recorded an episode with Dracovish um, a while ago, a couple weeks ago, and the people loved it. Everyone loved Thank it. Thank you, Mr. Fish. Thank you, Mr. Fish. Very, very nice. Um, I really like how we've spearheaded that meme. It feels really powerful. It feels so... Uh, did you see all the articles they, that were like written about the fish? Yeah, no, no, no. You started a, a cult. I think we. I think it was a. I, I think it's a. It's a joint effort. Of Thank 100%. you. Thank yeah, you. we like, started a you cult. You started the logic. You got the facts behind it, and mm -hmm. then I just said, "Thank you, Mister Fish." You and brought that was enough for everyone to go wild. Listen, you need, you need, you need the knowledge. You need the facts, but you also need the branding, right? I never, yeah. I never. Would I, have I really just do request that you nickname your Dracovish <laughs> Mister Fish because that's what I, I think done. I can do. I, it. I really I hope in the future you can achieve these things. And actually, not just not just you and me, but everyone watching. If you use. Dr yeah, Fish, yeah. please nickname it Mr. Fish. Mine it's is not really insulting to lose to Mr. Fish, I right. will say. And it's all lowercase, right? There's no capital. I feel like uh, I, I'll capitalize mine just okay. for formality's sake. Right. We, we need to be respectful. We have to remember who yeah. we're dealing with here. Um, we're not robbing victories ourselves. No, no, not us. Uh, we're, you know, we're just hiring a consultant to do it for us. Um, or a hitman. Or a hitman. You want to see <laughs> right. <laughs> well, aren't, you know, really aren't hitmen just consultants in the murder business? Shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, on that note, so this whole thing is like a this this team that you see before you is kind of a culmination of a multi-step evil. I feel like an like a, like the villain in an anime, right? That's yeah. that's where I started with this whole thing. Is that I kind of feel like, or maybe not a, the villain, but like you know when there's so you know like in these shows, there's often like multi-steps to these plans, right? Yeah. So let's let's go through the timeline. Mm -hmm. There we were. Three weeks ago, right? And I introduced mm -hmm. you to the, the strategy of beat up Whimsicott with Lucario, right? Yes. The core idea being, if you beat up Lucario, its attack triples, basically. If you use it at the beginning of the game, it, it becomes very difficult to take out, right? Yes. So there's that. The next thing that we... Uh, the next step in this plan was... Um, Pokemon is a game of expectations, right? And a mm -hmm. lot of the ways that you can get cheeky wins is by doing weird stuff, right? So... The reason why we used beat up Whimsicott plus Lucario is that now when people see Whimsicott Lucario, they have a certain like strategy in mind. They're thinking, oh no, I need to get through Whimsicott Lucario. It's going to do a lot of damage. Maybe I need to Dynamax. Hold that thought. Because the next step in this plan is I, uh, I, used, I, I, went on, I went on Twitter and I posted a clip from a battle, which was Switcheroo Grimmsnarl with the Jack button yes, and Quick Attack Sylvia. Disgusting. It was crazy, right? So, or Trick Grimmsnarl. So, Whimsicott learned Switcheroo, right? And Switcheroo switches your item with the target. It does the same thing as Trick. And as you can see on your screen, Whimsicott is holding the eject button. Oh. So we have we have kind of set the stage here for this eject what button stuff. What item do you normally have Whimsicott? It's Barry, right? We used to have Focus Ash, but it was never activating. It should have been Barry. Because it, okay. Whimsicott's bulky, so... Um, we've dropped... I think we had Energy Ball. I dropped Energy Ball for Switcheroo. So now we get to play this fun little mind game of... We live Whimsicott Lucario, and the opponent... So you're baiting out... It's it's a mis... It's a mis bait. Uh, misdirection. Exactly, exactly. It looks yeah. like you're going to do beat up Lucario. Mm -hmm. And we still can, is the is the beautiful yes, thing. Now, we get the, the option of... If they, if they, like, lead two things that are weak to beat up Lucario, let's just beat up Lucario and win the game, right? But if they... And then Bullet Punch... Uh, exactly, exactly. And that's okay. the last step of this, is that Bullet Punch... It's the same... Because Whimsicott has Prankster, it moves before Lucario's Bullet Punch, mm -hmm. so we can still do... Like, it's just the same Lucario set. I didn't even change it because we didn't have to. But now we get the added option of if the opponent tries to Dynamax, which is one of the best ways of surviving boosted Lucario, we can just remove that option turn one. Um, so, like, Whimsicott game plan is in order Switcheroo beat up Tailwind. It just, you've set the groundwork for the future game. Exactly, exactly. Like, Switcheroo, or you can, the thing is, it's so flexible because you can, if they lead two slow Pokemon, just launch the beat up and take a kill, right? And then, like, yeah. you can Tailwind. And the other thing is, let's say you don't want to beat up and you don't want to switch through, the eject button actually works on Whimsicott because you can protect Lucario, Tailwind, they attack Whimsicott, you get a free switch into Dracovish. Oh now my you, god. Now you can Dynamax Lucario. Oh, that's so versatile. And use max fighting to raise Dracovish's attack. And I'm, I'm just going to say right now, I don't think there's a Pokemon in the game. I don't think Ludicolo can survive plus one choice band Dracovish in Tailwind. <laughs> so yeah. Why is he plus one? Because if you use max fighting with Lucario, it also raises Dracovish's attack. Oh yeah, okay, okay. I see what you're saying now. Uh, um, 
Yeah. So I'm looking at everything, and also something I learned recently on my own. Yeah. Hit was me. um, moves like I don't. I'm just dropping this knowledge because I didn't know it yeah, going into this. Please, yeah, please oh, share. When I saw earthquake, like it's it's a base hundred move that mm -hmm. hits like both players. I didn't realize it halves damage between. Yeah, so it's actually it's not exactly half. It's actually three fourths. So it's like point seven five. Oh, so okay. That's why we have moves like high horsepower and Mudsdale, as you can see. That's anything that hits multiple targets gets this three fourths damage reduction. So a move like high horsepower, which is I think ninety five base power, is actually stronger than earthquake which is effectively 75 base power most of the time yeah i get you now um, I, I didn't know that before yeah. recently and then um dragapult um he's just supposed to be an annoying son of a bitch right that's exactly right he's just supposed to be an annoying son of a gun so um <laughs> dragapult togekiss is very popular right now togekiss kind of protects dragapult and dragapult can raise its speed with max flying and it's just like overall pretty powerful so just mm -hmm. in case we don't want to do whimsicott lucario stuff that's pretty strong um and there's one more thing that I think you'll like on this team. And that yeah. is, we know about Beat Up Whimsicott and Justified Lucario, right? Yes. Well, the other thing that we have on this team is Mudsdale. And Mudsdale's stamina ability, every time it gets hit by an attack, raises its defense by one stage, any attack. Um, so okay. if, if you use Beat Up on Whimsicott and attack into Mudsdale, you actually get plus four defense on the first turn. Oh, gross. And you also have the Assault Vest, which raises your special defense. Max Ground raises your special defense. Max Steel uses, raises your defense. And Body Press, instead of using your attack stat to calculate damage, uses your defense stat. Which means you can basically triple your defense stat. And if you use Body Press, you've also tripled your attack stat. On Mudsdale. So he's just a disgusting tank. He's such he's a tank, but he, yeah, exactly. He's he's slow and he's impossible to get rid of, and he hits very very hard. So um, mm -hmm. I think that's the whole team. Yeah. Okay, Togekiss though. I'm I'm aware. Togekiss, uh, it's just like good support. Follow me is really really good because it forces yeah. like it, it forces things away from the partner. What is the Babiri Berry? Just weak and steel type moves. Um, you don't okay. need yeah Babiri Berry. You could use a different item. You could use like a Wiki Berry, but there's a lot of Excadrill right now, so I figured like it's not it doesn't yeah. hurt to have you know just like pretty much guaranteed survive most attacks. Why is Excadrill like the most popular Pokemon? <sighs> I think it's because in Sand it becomes very fast, which is uh, like ve like speed is important. Ground yeah, I've seen a lot of Sand control. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so I think that's part of it. Ground and Steel are really good types because they raise the bulk of your team. Um, and so, like, an extra drill has really good offensive stats. So, ground types hitting, you know, like, Arcanine and, um, like, other, like, fire and rock types. Steel raising. Uh -huh. Steel for fairies. Fairies are obviously one of the best types in the game. Um, yeah. And so, yeah. And then I think just, it's just, like, the speed plus the power. And then when it, when it Dynamaxes, it becomes so bulky that it makes it really good. It's definitely not, like, unbeatable. Um... But it's hard to deal with. It's really hard to deal with, for sure. Are, are fairies, like, traditionally, like, high in special defense and not really based, like, physical defense? Yeah, that's that tends to be the trend. Like, I feel like the fairies that come to I've mind... Because I've noticed, like, steel moves, like, kind of obliterate fairies. Right. Fi steel that... moves are traditionally physical. Exactly. Like, you have Flash Cannon, but, yeah, a lot of the popular fairies, like Togekiss, like Sylveon, like Hatterene or Hatterene, um, those all have... You know, really high special defense and good to mediocre physical defense for the most part. Gotcha. I'm sure there are some exceptions, but for the most part, fairies tend to be like special the attackers. Ones. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and of course, to every rule, there's exceptions, but yeah. Um, but yeah, does that does that all make sense? I know there's kind of a quick overview. Yeah. But... So ideally, like the 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 bulk of this set is kind of rev it revolves around Whimsical Lucario mm -hmm. in the front, Draco Vish in the back, and then you pick one of the three. To compliment him. Exactly. So Mudsdale can be good because I, I, I've never really talked about this before. I've never tried to explain this before, but I'm going to try now. It's like some some Pokemon, if you lead them up front, like the opponent is prepared for them. Like they see Mudsdale, they're like, okay, I'm going to lead my will o users. I'm going to lead my strong water types. I'm going to try mm -hmm. and deal with this. But if you can find a way to bring it in in the mid game when kind of like one of your partner, when like the partner Pokemon is pinning one of their Pokemon or yeah. something along those lines, it becomes a lot more. Resources are drained a little bit. Exactly. So if you can, so it's obviously Mudsdale is the advantage of bringing it in the back is that it's really bulky. The disadvantage is that it's slow. So if you don't want that, you could bring Dragapult instead. So I, I guess like as you stated, like Pokemon is a lot of misdirection. You mm -hmm. see this team and you kind of predict Whimsicott Lucario coming out. Exactly. And and I feel like you see the fish and you're like, okay, that's in the that's in the back or coming out with Whimsicott. Mm -hmm. And if you come out with Whimsicott Lucario, I feel like they know you have the fish. So I guess it's really... Uh, the fourth one is the mystery. Exactly, exactly. And there's also... Sorry, there's one more strategy that I forgot to mention, but I actually think is super strong. Um, yeah. And that's Draco Drago. And the way the reason why I have that on this... Like, why that's strong is that 
If you lead Dracovish and Dragapult, which I have a hard time saying together, but that's okay, um, <laughs> you can Dynamax your Dragapult, go for max flying, and immediately boost Dracovish's speed. Oh. Effectively giving you both Choice Band and Choice Scarf, and you've lost lo launched a relatively powerful flying move as well. So um, that's another kind of cool trick we can pull at some point if we wanted. Because if you... Basically, if you, I feel like if you don't lead the right Pokemon to stop mm -hmm. that, you just lose immediately. Okay. Cool. And also, did, at one point you have, like, Ice Fang on Dracovish. I've changed the moves around. I like Psychic Fang yeah. right now because it breaks um, it breaks screens, and screens are pretty popular. Um, okay. But, yeah, there's... How there's, much resistance are screens? They're, in singles, they're double your bulk. In doubles, they're, I think... A, I think they multiply by two thirds, like the uh, of the attack that comes in. I think they're like a sixty six percent reduction in damage. Gotcha. Ooh, which is pretty good. I'm not. I, first, I should really know that. I'm like ninety five percent positive that's correct, but I think it's two thirds reduction. Okay. <laughs> um, which is which is a lot when you're you know um when you're you know attacking getting two attacks per turn. Yeah. But yeah, this is a team that I thought you would like in particular because one, it's kind of cheesy, but two. It really thrives off hard reads, right? Because, like, uh -huh. if you can read which Pokemon is Dynamaxing, removing your opponent's Dynamax turn one and taking one of their items and not taking damage for a turn from one of their Pokemon is, like, very, very so, good. This team doesn't survive. Like, okay, it's, it's not that it doesn't survive, but it's strongest when your opponent Dynamaxes turn one. This team, this team has two ways of you of playing it. You can play it like a traditional team where it's already like pretty solid and has a bunch of tricks and it's like good. Or you can play it very read heavy, like oh I think they're gonna expect beat up, so I'm gonna switch through bullet punch and just like remove their like yeah. remove their advantage. So it depends on what mode you want to play, right? If you think they're not gonna Dynamax, you can just play this like a regular team and like you know play safe, Tailwind protect, get your Drake Vision Tailwind, go from there. But if you want to play okay. a little risky, you know, you can, uh, you have okay. that option. <laughs> I, I'm just saying that from the beginning, uh, you, you have to make your decision between Tailwind and Switcheroo. Exactly. The turn one is pretty important as to what you do with... If you lead Whimsicott, the turn one is, is pretty important, I think. But there's multiple turn ones that are good. Gotcha. I mean, I'm just trying to see, like, all of it. Because, like, as you said, uh, even beat up Lucario and then having Dracovish come in is also really good. Really good. Having Tailwind, Eject Button, and Dracovish is good. Having switcheroo into gimmick is mm -hmm. good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So there's there's a lot going on. I know this is kind of like a, but I, I like this as well because it's, it's similar to the first team that we used together. So I feel like you yeah. you've already you're already kind of used to a lot of the roles of these Pokemon. Yeah, it's it feels just, just like an expansion of it. Exactly. And this is what I like to do with teams as well. Is I like to take a team, take the good aspects, and then try and improve that. And that's what's okay. really fun about team building to me, or one of the things that's really fun. Mm -hmm. um, and obviously, I just have to say this explicitly, like, the code is on the bottom for anyone who wants to try this themselves. Um, though I'm sure people will complain. I, uh, people are always like, can't you leave the metal alone, Wolf? Like, <laughs> Bro, with the Dynamax eject button, that was... I, it was... It is so funny, too. Like, the, like, it's really funny. It, I don't know. I just, I, Obviously, in the clip, I was clearly, I thought it was funny. but I, like, I thought the... it was hilarious. Like, when you sent it to me, I started like kind of picking up what you were putting down. And I was like, God he wants <laughs> yeah I, I knew you wouldn't have sent me that clip if it didn't work uh -huh. <laughs> that's a good point and this is why this is why you got the big brain all right let's see yeah. let's see what we're doing neighbor nati mm. rank 9 10 do they all uh, do they i hate trick room all rank like ranked by number yeah so number one is the first person and i think it goes up to like ten thousand or something um, gotcha so this is a Trick Room team, which is annoying. Um, I feel like we have a bad history of that. And they have... God, what's his stupid face? The Gastrod... Uh, Gastrodong. Yeah, we hate Gastrodong. Yeah. I mean, Gastrodon. Sorry, that's what I said the first time. Um, so, the cool thing about... Um, what, what if your power went out right now? That'd be cool. I think we can beat this, because here's the thing. <laughs> here's the thing. Um, Butterfree... Yeah, does not read can't sleep whimsicott and it's re, it has redirection and redirection um doesn't work on doesn't work on grass type Pokemon so so we can still kind of do our strategy here I think um also against us there's so like if we can switch route take Dusclops item that also removes yeah. two thirds of its bulk for example. Also, could you help me out real quick? Mm -hmm. What is what does the term hidden ability mean? Is it just like a third hidden, ability? Hidden ability means. Hidden ability is there are some Pokemon that if you catch them in the wild, you, they'll have yeah. one or two abilities. And then the hidden yeah. ability, it's you can only get it through, I think at the moment it's through like certain raids. Um, so 
if you were to breed a Pokemon without a hidden ability, it would not breed into like its hidden ability. But gotcha. oh geez, what do we want in the back? Because uh, um, I know that like Luke justified Lucario as his hidden ability. I just didn't really know what that meant. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So so basically, you need to find the right raid. And if you breed a hidden ability, you can get the hidden ability. But if you just read a breed like a regular Lucario, <laughs> <laughs> do you like my card? It is. <laughs> You yeah. really told everyone when you change it, and I guess that's an improvement. That's right. I, I'm a man of my word, if nothing else. Ooh, God, the shades. That's like the basic girl. But, <laughs> okay. Oh, so, what are you thinking? Patterine's here? definitely doing Trick Room. Right. What is Butterfree doing? Probably Rage Powder or Sleep Powder. Okay, so... um, If you want to... Get rid of the trick room and mm -hmm. just kind of throw the other person for a loop. Could you just do switcheroo with Hatterene and then bullet punch? Because even if they're not going to uh, Dynamax, you're still just saying so stop. We, we actually don't even need to bullet punch because both these Pokemon underspeed us. So we can even go for the stronger Meteor Mash if we wanted and oh. fo force them to Rage Powder this turn. Um, yeah. Because if they don't if they don't Rage Powder, then they'll just Hatterene is likely to die. So they're most likely going to Rage Powder. And this lets us... Break the Focus Ash on Butterfree and... What is Rage Powder, by the way? Rage Powder's Follow Me, but it doesn't work on Grass Types. Interesting. Which is why it's really good that we have Whimsicott here, because we've kind, you've kind of pinned them in this situation. So, uh -huh. Meteor Mash, which one do you want to target? It's most likely going to be redirected, but... Um, yeah, I, I say just Hatterene in case it lands. I agree, I agree. Just in case they get greedy and go for Sleep Powder. Yeah, yeah. they do go for Rage Powder, so that's good. Um, and it hits Lucario. Yeah, so that'll redirect Lucario's attack, but we can still use Bullet Punch, which is nice. Should we have gone for a bullet punch this game? Mm -mm. No. And we actually got the battery berry, which is good. So Meteor Mash is good because now you've done good damage. Really good damage. Okay. You got the attack um, boost. <laughs> so would, what I'm asking is, would bullet punch have out-prioritized Rage no. Powder? So Rage okay. Powder, I think, is plus three, if I'm not mistaken. And um, and bullet punch is only uh, plus one. So, yeah, yeah, it wouldn't have worked. Okay. So what are you thinking this turn? Um... I think so. We do have Trick Room, and does Bullet Punch out prioritize the Trick Room status? Yes. So, Bill, if so, if they don't Rage Powder here, then Bullet Punch will take out Hatterini. Um, but but also we, Bullet yeah. Punch will take out Butterfree if they redirect. So. Exactly. Exactly. So the, one option you could consider is that we do have Mudsdale in the back. Oh, I timed out. Um, which is really bulky. So Mudsdale is one thing you could you could if you wanted to play defensive and waste a turn of Trick Room, you could bring in Mudsdale here and protect. Um, that's okay. an option. Or you could just attack. Um, or you, like. You could force Hatterene to switch out, although I guess... Yeah. What are you feeling here? Um, let's be annoying. Yeah. Can we beat up Lucario? Lucario's actually kind of in trouble here. I'm, I'm going to... Sorry, okay. I'm going to... So, okay. All right. Yeah, make the executive decision. Go sorry, for sorry, it. sorry, 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 sorry. I hate, I hate that there's like... If we just had 15 more seconds. Yeah. So the reason why I did this is, number one, they're not going to sleep powder us this turn, Um, mm -hmm. which is good. Okay, so they don't Dynamax because they know about our... They know about our Jimic, yeah. Let's see what they go for here. Dazzling Gleam, that's very good for us because um, Mudsdale's getting bulkier very quickly. <laughs> yeah, and that also hits both and Lucario blocks it. Mm -hmm. So that's a plus defense boost. And they're most likely going to target, unless they go for, yeah, Sleep Powder comes out into Lucario. So that, yeah. Gotcha. So we could have, so, I guess we could have bullet punched there. Um, but yeah, this turn's all you. Whatever you want to do is, is cool. Um, I'm trying to see the moves. Sorry, Rock Slide Body Press. Yeah, thank, right, thank you, buddy. Yeah, yeah, I got anything, man. <laughs> Uh, so Mudsdale is he slower than Hatterene Butterfree? I th Mudsdale's slower than Butterfree, but faster than Hatterene, I think. Like so depending on how they train, but faster than faster than Hatterene. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what if we use Mudsdale to attack Butterfree? Mm -hmm. I don't really care what move. Let's use Rock Slide because it hits still. both. Okay, and then just bullet punch on Hatterene. Yeah, that's totally fine. Yeah. We could so have we, we could have attacked. Them. Ooh, okay, that's fine. Ooh, okay, interesting. So now the good news is you only have to get through two more turns of Trick Room. Uh huh. Um, like you've already burned three turns of Trick Room, which means and once Trick Room goes down, they're going to be in trouble, in my opinion. Yeah, but also all that we really wanted to do here was kill Butterfree. Mm hmm. Because Hatterene's going to be twitched out next turn, anyways. Exactly. So it's actually for that reason, it's actually really good that Hatterene protected because now we get to waste their attack the next turn. Yes. If that makes sense. Yeah. Oh, and it's Gastrodon. Okay, that's fine, because you are very bulky. Um, yeah. So what is Gastrodon's deal? It's probably going to Dynamax and go for a water move here, if I had to check. Um, it, it, but Gastrodon is here because it stops... Um, 
it stops... Fish in the back? Fish in the back, exactly. But if you do enough damage to it, it doesn't stop fish in the back anymore. Gotcha. So this um, might be a good time to Dynamax your Mudsdale, actually. Just as a suggestion. Okay. Um, and hit him with... What would type? He's water... He's water ground. ground, so your most effective move is Max Quake, which also makes you bulkier, which is really nice. Okay. Is that... Okay. Um, yeah. And, and with then the, just bullet punch again. That's totally fine with me, yeah. I mean, yeah, we could, like... We can probably survive a Gastron attack, but I think it's good just to... Okay, they do switch, which honestly is fine. Like, that's that's actually totally fine for us. Ah, that's okay, bad. So... Wait a second, that's bad. <laughs> so that's bad because they're going to activate... That's going to activate their weakness policy. Um, however, Mudsdale is so bulky. What is weakness policy? Weakness policy says, if I get hit with a super effective attack, double my offensive stats. And we just use Bullet Punch, which is a super effective attack. Um, <laughs> Ooh, and not very strong. And not very strong. Although we did get the boost turn one, which is nice. So... Yeah. But also swapping a Hatterene as the fourth in the back just guarantees it, it nullifies eject button. Exactly, but it also means that oh, but they didn't Dynamax uh, right here, which is actually good for us. Um, and this also means that um, this also means that if if they try to switch Hatterene back in without taking a KO, then we can just force them out um, again. So we can still also, like just for your own knowledge, mm -hmm. I ed went while I was editing a recent Pokemon video, yeah. I went through and timed out how long it took. For beat oh, up Lucario. Oh no! It was like thirty seven seconds. I believe that. That's yeah. A lot of damage. Yeah, I, I very much believe that. Okay, so weakness palsy. But you did good damage, which yeah. is like it's honestly probably worth it. And I think Mudsdale is actually slower than both of these Pokemon. And that does good damage as well. That's good damage. Yeah. Is Gastrodon notoriously tanky? It's very tanky, especially when Dynamaxed. Gotcha. This is probably Skull. Hailstorm. Uh, okay, that's not going to do that much, actually. Um, why wouldn't he go for a water move? That is an excellent question. That also did zero damage. Thank you, Gastrodon. <laughs> um, um, I don't know why he wouldn't. I've actually heard some Gastrodon are not running water moves right now. So that's the only thing I can think, personally. Poor and K. it's... That's Life Orb. Oh my god. Yeah, you're in good shape. I'm just going to just gonna say it how it is. Okay, odd. Yeah, very odd. Okay. But we'll take all it. All right, let's all take hail damage. I think one quality of life is that everyone should be buffed by hail at the same time. I agree. Although, well, actually, let's choose the move, and then I'll tell you why it's good that that doesn't happen. What would you like to do this turn? Okay. Um. Uh, much deal. Do you think we can just take out? Wait. Okay. So we should target Gastrodon, right? So you can target Gastrodon. You could actually target Rhyperior here. Well, because we, yeah, we could just take Rhyperior out is what I'm thinking, but yeah. Gastrodon is the bigger threat quite literally. Well, it's the bigger threat literally, but it, look at how little damage it did. And you're going to get even bulkier this turn. Yeah. So I'm kind of thinking... Let's yeah, let's take out Rhyperior. Yeah, and like, I don't... Can we do that and then just... I, would, would we want to, like, Meteor Mash or Close Combat? I'm not... Our module is really bulky, which is why it took no damage, so it might be safer to go for Bullet Punch into Rhyperior, kind of as, like, a just-in-case kind of measure, you know? Okay. Um, I, I get the reasoning. Yeah, like, it's it might waste our turn, but the thing is, if right here... This is their last turn at Trick Room. Okay, they yeah. do go for Protect. However, that's still fine for us. Um, but you were right, Close Combat would have been better. Um, so that's my B. Anyway, the reason why it's good that Hail... Does Close Combat go through Protect? It doesn't, but we could have... We probably would have targeted Gastrodon in that case, so we would have done more damage. But it's not like Lucario is going to die this turn, so... Yeah. And that still does a lot of damage. Um, but the reason it's good that Hail doesn't activate all at once is it tells you the speed order. So based on the order in which our Pokemon get hit, we'll then know who's fastest and slowest. Gotcha. Thank you, Lucario. This is not going to do very much damage, I think. Although, he's Life Orb Gastron, but I think we're still fine. Okay, so he has Hailstorm, Quake. And Quake, okay. yeah. And Rhyperior already used Protect. Exactly. He is the slowest. No, no, that's Protect, so it doesn't say anything. Exactly. But... Um. So... Oh my god, yeah. Then I don't think Life Orb Gastron is very good. I'm just going to say it. Someone's got to say it, and it's going to be me. <laughs> um, but Lucario is... So Lucario is easily the fastest one. Lucario is the fastest? And wait, I was I actually forgot to pay attention, but it looked like... Wait, actually, let me check our summary. I think Mudsdale might not be mid-speed, which means... Okay, so it's it's Lucario, Gastrodon, Mudsdale, Rhyperior. Mudsdale, Rhyperior. Um, however, I don't think that Max Knuckle will... That uh, that Lucario can KO Gastrodon, so... Do you want to just take out Rhyperior? Yeah, with Lucario, and do you want to attack into the Gastrodon with um, with Mudsdale? Because Mudsdale will take out Gastrodon from this range. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. And then, so... And worst combo, case scenario, if everything goes wrong, we still have we're our still, whole team, actually. We, and once Gastrodon goes down, the fish just kills everything. So, yeah. close combat is the safer move, but they could switch to Hatterene. Um, 
But even if they um, do, they'll switch right back to Torque Speed. Combat's back to Gastrodon. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, or no, she uh, eject buttons uh, back into right barrier. Yeah, yeah, which is probably fine. So, do you want to close combat, which is safe? Yeah, can't miss? yeah, I say go for it. It's yeah, funny. I think so too. They're in really tough shape at this point. They went for the double protect. They get it. That's a one in three chance, which is not amazing for us, but also not yeah. terrible. Rough. Can't win them all. Um. Yeah, we still have all four. They did have Max Geyser. Odd. That's very strange. Maybe they expect us to switch to Whimsicott. That actually would make some sense, I guess. Yeah, but... they did use Hailstorm. Yeah. Um, I'm st st still not about it. Yeah, it's kind of that. This is the thing about Montezel. They've hit us with two max moves, and uh, they've done very little damage. And it's only getting worse every turn because every time they hit us, we get stronger, and every time we attack, we get stronger. So it's it's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> Goodbye, and Gastrodon. Gastrodon is dead, so now we get Hatterene. Uh, this is a fine turn. This is a fine turn. And also, like... Nice crit. Nice crit. Did, that didn't matter. Um, also, they've now set the, the rain for the funny. fish. It is funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I feel like losing is one thing. Losing to a crit is another, even if you're guaranteed dead. Yeah. It's, it's like, disrespectful, right? It's, like, BM. It's a morale swing. Exactly. We, uh... Yeah, we did some <laughs> mental damage there. All right. Hatterene. And originally... Wish... Yeah, go ahead. If Hatterene, if we had, they had no other Pokemon, Eject Button just killed it. Killed it. Yes, <laughs> that's super funny. Patch um, that in. Plus three defense. Hmm. Okay. Um, so I think this could be a good time to show off Body Press against Rhyperior. It's your what strongest it move. It uses your defense instead of your attack, and your defense is plus three. Ew. So Ew, what? Oh my god! And that's very good with Mudsdale. Yeah. Then let that rip. Yeah. And, and then Hatterene is still so slow, so we just Meteor Mash? Just Hatterene? send it, yeah, just send it to the yeah. Shadow Realm. So originally this Hatterene had Babbery Berry. So triple protect, they fail. Okay, that would be ridiculous. <laughs> God, he was <laughs> desperate for it. He really, yeah, I mean, he didn't really have a better option, yeah. Oh, if they had Babbery Berry, they could have survived, but because you tricked them, yeah, they did not have uh, they did not have the berry, so you got the Yoko. So the eject button still came in clutch The eject button was another. still, yeah, exactly. Oh. Really? Really. I guess... Well, right here is very bulky. by water? No. Although, no, if kidding. this were the anime, then yes. If this was the anime, he would have gotten dizzy. Yeah, he would have. He would have water. Yeah, like this is like some Onyx versus Pikachu level stuff. Uh, I respect but, the fact he didn't DQ. Yeah, me too. Actually, I, I do respect that. Um, yeah, but yeah, that was that was a trick room team, and you just four would them. Yeah. So, um, to go back to your point, mm -hmm. uh, why are you happy? That the quality of life of everyone getting buffed by hail at the same time does not happen. So because of because it tells you the speed order, which is like it's very good information, right? So it's oh, it's like one way oh, which makes okay. it less random, right? And also for players who've been playing for a while, like it's it just feels bigger brain if that makes sense. Like it's like oh like ah, I so see does the, it buff it the like damage in order of, of the speeds? Speed? So in that game we saw Rhyperior got hit first, then Mudsdale, then Gastrodon, then Lucario, which told us the order was. Um, well, we were in Trick Room, so the, we the real order room. was Lucario, Gastrodon, Mudsdale, Rhyperior, which then told us what order we could attack in. So many butter for you. Why are everybody okay. using butter for you? Um, in every world outside of that competitive environment. It's very annoying. I understand yes. that. <laughs> I, I like, understand it's and just respect the fact that. it's like 20 seconds when it could be five. <laughs> yeah, although it used to be slower. Like, Gen 4, uh -huh. it was really bad. Um, so I really, want, I really want you to reject somebody, so I think we should lead the same Pokemon. Yeah, um, I really, I mean, really I'm completely would... fine with that team we just had. Yeah, honestly, should we bring? So this person is a bunch of water types, which is annoying. So, but I think it's you and I, so we have to bring the fish. Doesn't the... Togekiss have Thunderbolt? Togekiss has Thunder Wave, unfortunately. Okay, um, I just you were blocking Togekiss moves. I'm so I sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, and for the last one, I know Dragapult had Thunderbolt at one time. Does he not? <sighs> not anymore. Although it does have Max Flying or it has Fly, which is funny and hits a... like Dragapult is a lot of these Pokemon for super effective damage, so. I think we should bring Dragapult. We already showed off Mudsdale. Okay. Just for the, just for the, just for the. And life orb buffs. What is it? For life orb raises your attack, both your attack and all of the. Sorry, life orb increases your damage output, but what by one point three at the cost of every single turn. HP. Exactly, ten percent of your. HP. How much? Ten percent. Mm-hmm. Ten percent. Okay. Which is like a lot, but also it's it's better on fast and frail Pokemon because like if it was if your opponent was gonna KO you in one shot anyway, then it's like nice to have the extra damage. Gotcha. Cool trainer card. Dude, that's probably one of the coolest ones I've seen. Honestly, he really took some time with it. He did, and he has yeah. Butterfree on the team. Pepe. That's badass. That's pretty cool. No Butterfree, no Butterfree, no Butterfree. Okay, hmm. So Raichu is Fake Out, which is not, which is kind of the anti-us anti, anti -us strategy. Yeah, Fake Out, I've learned all about it, and it's very annoying. It's very annoying. Um, huh. 
Can you protect Whimsicott to be a dick? I oh, would if I had it. it. We don't have it. Um, you take charge. You take charge of this. This is up. This one's This one. I'll give input, but I, I feel like I kind of overrode you the last game. So this is kind of tricky. This oh, is not super clear cut. So. The timer overrode me. Don't worry. Right. 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 Um, okay. So I have to go into this under the pretense that Whimsicott is not getting a turn anyways. Right. It's exactly right. So, if if that's the the scenario, can you go back to the moves? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I, I, you could attack, or if you think, so it's, you can call Raichu's bluff and say it's not fake outing, and you can attack anyway, or you can switch to Dragapult. Those are probably your best options. Let's switch to Dragapult. I like that, because yeah, then we can I, still, I like we that. can always bring that in later, and with Lucario, what would you like to do? Uh... You do it. I don't, I don't know. I think we should protect here because I don't okay. know. Like, this, they could be quiver dancing, which is annoying. But... I, I think protect is the hard thing to wrap my mind around. Yeah. Like, I think that's the hardest thing for me to understand the right way to protect. And fake out is what we're expecting. Yeah, we expect fake out into Whimsicott and maybe sleep powder that they could quiver dance as well. Fake out comes out into Dragon Pulse. Yeah. So that was the right thing. And sleep powder most likely into Lucario. Overall, a good turn for us. Wow. I think. Okay. Yeah. We just repositioned. We very much repositioned. Um, So... They cannot both be focused. Oh, right, choose air balloon. That's right. Um, what is air balloon? Air balloon means it can't be hit by ground type attacks. Um, for now. Okay. Oh, okay. I see. Yeah. Well, only once, right? Only once. Yeah. So we could we can we could max fly here. To, like, I think we want to get rid of the butterfree so that it doesn't. Yeah. Um, so we could max airstream. Yeah, and then maybe just meteor mash for the for maybe the defense boost. Okay. Yeah. Does that make Does that sound good to you? Yeah. It could be scarf butterfree. I guess I hadn't really considered that, but I'm just gonna hope that it's not scarf butterfree. Um, will we be Dynamaxing? Have you, you... That's still the main character, right? At what sub-goal do you actually give him some drip? Well, I'll let you set it. So we're at like 135, more or less. What, I'll let you decide for the people. I, th I think 150 feels fair, man. Give the okay. boy some love. Okay, we'll give him some love. At yes, 100... Subscribe just so this boy stops <laughs> looking like he's ready for fifth grade picture day. His mom dressed him, man. Come on. Bye-bye, <laughs> <laughs> Butterfree. Well... They, Did, they'd be holding on, but we also... We'd be doubling up. with Meteor Mash. Yeah. So the best case scenario is they get greedy and they go for Encore into Lucario to try and catch the Protect. I don't think they'll do that because Encore's not very good because of Dynamax, but yeah. that would be cool. Please hit. Nice. Please defense rise. That always reminds me of, like, Geno Whirl. Have you played a Super Mario RPG? I have not. Cool game. Oh, I hate Nuzzle. That's right. Yeah. That move's not fun. That's not fun. Hmm. That's fine though. I think getting rid of Butter because Ra uh, Raichu is such a it's like such an annoying or Butterfree sleep is so annoying basically. Yeah, what I'm trying to say. So I gotta ask. I've heard tons of different things. What is like the equation mm. for sleep? Like, I'll tell you after we choose our moves. Understandable. Um, so um, extra drill is most likely gonna Dynamax here. Um, yeah, I think. Um, well, this is this is kind of tricky. Yeah, what would you what would you like to do? So he is ground steel. So we hit him super effective with Lucario. Yes, so, uh, what are the odds that he's ready for that and does Dynamax max guard? Very low, in my opinion. Okay. I guess, although I guess in this case they could max guard, or they, they could, um, I guess. If you say it's very low, I'm open to just unloading. Just double up? Exit drill. Yeah. And letting Raichu, I guess, what, Nuzzle Lucario Nuzzle next? Nuzzle Lucario, yeah. We can always Tailwind again is the thing. Yeah. 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 Go for uh, it. Okay. I guess they could just regular protect, but... Well, they do Dynamax. So the good news is we do still have our eject button. So, you know, yeah, we if this can. turn, you know, if this turn goes goes south, we can always just switch a and attack. Because I actually think if their extra drill is adamant and not jolly, our Dragapult will still have speed even after paralysis because we raised our speed, which is gotcha. good. Um, helping hand. All right, that's actually really good because it was gonna kill Lucario anyway, and if it kills, what exactly does helping hand do? One point five times boot. Oh my god. Wow. wow. Thank you, Lucario. But uh, anyways, helping hand. Uh, <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. It's a 1.5 times boost um, to uh, to the partner. So it's like a, a choice band or choice specs for the turn. Oh, gotcha. Okay. That is but so funny. Is. Yeah, so they changed paralysis back in or from what it used to be. It used to quarter your speed. Now it halves it. And because of that, because Dragapult is so fast... Uh -huh. It's still outsped, even though it was paralyzed, because we gave it a speed boost, it's still outsped Excadrill, which is so funny. That's 
it's unfortunate for it's Buddy. Unfortunate. No, fancy me and you here. So we just <laughs> unload on him again. I think yeah. I think you, let's just fan. It doesn't really matter. Let's phantasm the Dragapult and Raichu can't protect, and you just lowered its defense with the Ghost one. I kind of feel like yeah. let's just take it out so we can play a three versus one. You know? Okay. Yeah. And I mean, what is the the, the, the likelihood of Dragapult doing the Phantom? thing move their fan their dragon bolt their dragon bolt will probably kill our dragon bolt but in this situation we'll still win okay um okay. what was the question I, I I just would answer, like, right? what if he does the phantom force and then we just oh. waste attack on him it's fine because as long as raichu's gone or as raichu as long as raichu fades we can tailwind and bring in our dragovish and then just win the game from there okay um gotcha what was the question i said i would answer as long as we i was just push. thinking about that i said i would answer a question helping hand no, oh no. Uh, uh sleep sleep okay sleep yes so you guaranteed always are asleep for the first turn, and then every turn after that, it's a one in three chance. So you can sleep for one turn, two turns, or three turns, and from from the start, you have a one in three chance of sleeping for one turn and waking up, sleeping for two turns and waking up, or sleeping for three turns and waking up. Um, but obviously, the probabilities change as you like go through that. So if you've already slept for two turns, then you could either wake up after the second turn or, or sleep for the third turn. So it's a 50-50, I think, if I'm explaining correctly. Okay. So it's conditional probabilities, right? Like if you've gone That's through... That's what I thought. I thought mm -hmm. it would just be a conditional probability the longer it went. Exactly. So I think it's... Oh, yeah, we're dead. Ah! Uh, we're dead. That's... Yep, yeah, I knew that, obviously. That's fine. That's super fine, yeah. Um, we really, we really got our money's worth out of that one, in my opinion. So, um, right here... Mm-hmm. Do we just send out Whimsicott to Tailwind? Exactly, and they, they really can't stop that. Gotcha. Unless we bullet punch ourselves to force the eject button, but I think we don't want to do that, most likely. But wouldn't that be funny? That would be funny, but I think I think I want you to win both of your games. So Tailwind with Whimsicott, and then Lucario is kind of up to you. You can protect, which is the safest move. I would like move. to bullet punch Whimsicott. I, sorry, I'm going to say that at most moves you can do are up to you. This one is not. <laughs> I, 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 name a different move. Sorry, that card is not in the deck. <laughs> well, we probably shouldn't. Okay, so hear me out. Uh huh. What would Dragapult do to win? Dragapult would need to KO Whimsicott somehow. Would need to one shot Whimsicott and then triple protect through Dra uh, Dracovish and then have us not. Do you think he's gonna hit us with the triple protect? That's the way that we would lose if, unless we bullet punch ourselves. In which case, it's much easier for them to win. Should I we let the game decide? Should I just not choose a move? I think it's funny. It is to funny. Bullet punch Whimsicott. Do you want me to bullet punch Whimsicott? Punch Whimsicott back to our team. I didn't. I don't. I didn't select a target, so I don't know what. I don't know what happens. Okay, that's what. Okay. I, I let the game decide. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my god. He mad. He was <sighs> mad. We almost threw. I wanted. You know what? Actually. Position. We would have won anyway. I'm sorry. I forgot about. I forgot that. I. You were right. We could, we should have done that. We should have done that. I'm sorry. Fish comes out anyways. Fish he always finds a way. He always. Yeah. You know what? We should have done that. I'm sorry. It would have been funny. Dude, I'm so, the I forgot. For some reason, in my brain, I my I had a brain fart and I forgot that Tailwind wouldn't go up. Like regardless. Mm hmm Because and then we could if Tailwind doesn't go up, then we could lose. But I forgot. I just forgot about Prankster somehow. Um. I'm sorry. That's my bad. You're Next okay. time. It just Next would time. have been funny. It would That's have been funny. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, 2-0. And they were actually pretty... You kind of... Honestly, dude, you kind of stomped on people. Hell yeah. Heck yeah. Um, Heck yes. Excuse heck me. Yes. For my yes. explicit Yes, link. for my Christian channel. Thank you. Um, uh, but yeah, that's that's the video. Dude, um, it's just like I need some art of your basic trainer with <laughs> you and me as like the angel and devil. On his <laughs> Bullet punch waves the cops. <laughs> no, just win the game safely. Bullet punch. Yeah, that's so good. <laughs> oh, that would, yeah. Um, next video. Next video. We will. We'll have. Next video. Actually, no. I had an idea. I will tell you it after so that we can do it next time and the people won't know what to expect. Um, but anyway, thank you guys for watching. Alpharad, thank you so much for being on. Obviously, if you have not watched Alpharad's channel, look at Alpharad's channel, please do that. Please, for me. Um, but yeah, do you have anything you want to say to the people before we wrap this up? Subscribe to my boy Wolfie. So my poorer boy. <laughs> you set the bar low too, like 150. Like we're definitely we're definitely getting there soon. I think. I know, and the boy deserves it. <laughs> you okay? This is the I, I see. This is a. How many you subs you got right now? Uh, I think let's see the exact number at time of posting this video, which I think is good to have a record of. Is that's not what I wanted. Uh, which one? 
one three three six five one is the official number. One, three, three. One, so we three, are three. sixteen thousand. I think you should make it one hundred thirty four k sub goal. <sighs> We've already said it. We've already said it. We're, we have for the people who watch <laughs> halfway through and then stopped. We we already said it. Um, all right, all right. <laughs> well, that's all I gotta say. Thank I you don't for even watching. Care to subscribe to me. You can unsub for me as long as you get that poor do trainer that. some drip. Don't, don't please don't unsubscribe. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you so much for being on uh, again. Really, I always have a lot of fun with these. So uh, yeah, of course, man. I'm I'm down to do it again. Heck yeah. Um, yeah. All right, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.